friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plants It Out. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're doing some weekly actions, weekly goals um, in my Moxie Life Companion Notebook for, I don't know, uh, the 14th through the 20th. I was like, I don't even know. Where am I at in my life? This is how I feel. Okay, so I already went through and I did my reflections for last week. And I went through these things. Um, I did okay on my goals last week. Not great. Um, definitely not in the money part or the health and wellness part. Or really, like, fun Fun is hard for me because I find, like, I just do, like, random little things <laughs> that are, like, Fun, so it's hard for me to like set goals in that category, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's kind of how it how it is for me. So yeah. Um I did okay. Um definitely went over on my spending. Didn't do great with cash spending last week. Um I started buying Christmas presents and then I like was moving money for Christmas presents and then was like using that money to do other things. Like it just, I didn't do great. <laughs> um, I bought a lot of stickers and stuff without like moving money or without like putting the cash back into the bank account. If I was going to like buy things online, I just like online spending got me. That's really what happened there. I spent, I spent too much online. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of how that went. Um, I did okay on my faith planner. I'll take four out of seven. Like, that's fine. Um, I did well on this. I still haven't done this try on and sort clothes thing. It didn't happen this week either. I mean, it's still only, it's like 1.30 on Sunday, so I could do it, but I don't really know. Sweeping and mopping I'm going to do when I'm done with this video, and then... I didn't do meditation. I think that that maybe just isn't going to happen because yet again, I set too many things. I feel like, like I put too much on my plate. I think, I don't know. It feels like it was too much, but then again, looking at it, like all of these things, they don't take a whole lot of time or work. So I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe it's not, there were too many goals. Maybe it's more of like, there were, um, I didn't use my, spend my time wisely. I really feel like that's like my biggest downfall in life is that I don't use my time as wisely as I should. So yeah, good times. Um, I'm going to set up this weekly reflections page real quick. I have this washi from according to Allie that I want to use because I like it, but I can't get it undone. Of course. Oh my goodness, please. All right, there we go. Okay, let's just put down a piece of this and then I'm gonna change up this layout, I think. I like, it just hit me that like, I think I wanna change this. So I'm going to. All right, we will cut this here. Try not to <laughs> cut the perforation anymore. And then We'll cut this off. So for this week, for my goals, I'm probably going to set a lot less. Well, I'm like looking at, I have like some of them written down to the side and I'm like, well, is it less? I mean, kind of. It kind of is. It's kind of just like, it's a little bit more basic with the goals because I feel like I just got, I like jumped in to far head first, you know, like I, I need to like take a step back and breathe. I just put the exacto knife away and I don't feel like getting it back out. So we're going to try this. That didn't do very well. And now I remember why I don't do that, but it's fine. Okay. I'm going to set this up, like I said, a little bit different. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to write oh I got my moxie life order um and it came with these fun moxie markers right so they're color-coded to 
all of the areas. The um, the colors are a little bit different in next year's uh, companion notebooks, so they don't perfectly coordinate with this, but they work pretty well. And they're pretty much mild liners, which is what I've been using. They're just like, they tell you like what category they go with, which is kind of cool. And then there's a bonus one. This one is a moxie gray. So they have like a chisel tip and then a fine tip like um, mild liners. Jeez. Personally, I think this one matches this better than this one does. I feel like this doesn't really match physical environment, but I have next year's notebooks next to me. Let's look if they like changed that color. Not really. I guess it's the same as like the little house. That's what it is. It's not the same necessarily as the banner. Okay. Um, all right. That was really unnecessary explanations and words. So we're going to take this moxie gray and I'm going to put, um, reflections just in the middle here. And then maybe like more towards the top though. Ooh, or reflection, I guess, is the word that I want. I like the way that this color looks. That's not very centered, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to like maybe, actually maybe I'll just leave it at that and then I can like bubble it out kind of thing. I don't know. I kind of want to like set up the areas though. So like here we have an area. Here we have an area. We'll do like a longer one down to adjustments and then we can do one up here. Whoops. That one got a little bit away from me, but that's okay. I just think it's fun to like change it up, right? Why not? And then, I don't know, I might leave it. Or maybe we do this, maybe we do winds. So like this section over here is winds. And then this one is, what is it, what worked? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna write worked. And then we'll do, didn't work. If I can spell, I almost spelled that wrong. That would have been kind of funny. Didn't work. And then we'll do lessons. And then we'll make this one. Adjustments. I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to change it up a little bit. I wish I would have made that more centered, but that's all right. So yeah. All right. So reflection page for next week is set up. So now let's actually get into like my life here and my goals and the things that I want to do. That one doesn't stay. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. So we will do. All right. So I have, let's go back. So reels, routines, clothes, selfie. Those are my things that are in the personal category. However, I'm also adding, I mean, I guess I kind of think about it in that category anyway, but I want to make sure that I'm staying like ahead and on top of, whoa, that was not straight. Um, and on top of my filming with, you know, the holidays coming up and travel for work and all that good stuff. So that is going to be part of this. So I still want to make sure that I'm putting up one reel and I know it might seem repetitive to write it over and over, but for me, if I don't write that, then I'm not going to do it because it's not going to be on my mind. It's not going to be at the forefront of my mind. So, and then stay ahead on filming. Currently I'm decently far ahead 
which makes me feel good because like I said, holidays and work travel and all that good stuff. I've been doing pretty well with my PM routine. Um, I definitely need to get back in. I definitely need to like focus more on like the time that I'm doing it, like getting into bed and like going to sleep because like I'm doing my PM routine, but I'm not always doing it at the same time kind of thing. Um, which is kind of throwing off my life. <laughs> um, so I was thinking I was going to switch to like when like more of my AM routine this week, but maybe we focus on like in bed. Well, let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this because I have like unplug by 10 PM is something that I have over here. Um, I haven't been writing it in this planner because it's in my wellness planner, but maybe I'll just like put it in here this week as like a reminder. Um, but I want to get out of bed by seven every day, but I'm thinking in order to do that, I need to be, maybe we put in bed, maybe we'll put two here, in bed by 10. And that to me is like, in bed, ready to sleep by 10. Like we're done with our phone, we're done reading, we're done with all that stuff. Like ready to go to sleep. And then I will also want to do out of bed by seven because I suck at getting out of bed, you guys. It's like <laughs> the downfall of my life. I'm just, I'm just not good at it. I just want to like stay in bed until whenever I feel like getting up. And that's not really how I should be going about my life. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like a, I guess like a downfall to working from home is that as long as I get all of my work done, like doesn't really matter if I'm online by eight kind of thing. I try to be online by like 8.15 at the latest, but you know, it's one of those things where I'm like, well, I mean, no one really needs me before nine o'clock. And if I like don't take a full break, like a full lunch, then I feel like it's okay because you know, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm still getting my work done kind of thing. So that's, that's kind of where that's at. All right. This week for fun and recreation. Wow. This doesn't match this at all. So that color definitely changed <laughs> for, um, next year, but that's okay. So I want to read three days. Um, Hopefully I will read today and then that will put me at two days for this week, which is good. It's better than like the none that I've had for a really long time. Um, so read three days and then I have two different Patreon Zooms this week, one for each of the Patreons that I'm in and I just want to make sure that I'm going to them participate like you know instead of just wasting the money and not going right like I could drop down a tier if I'm not gonna go to them but like I want to because they're usually really fun I just like I said time management is really something that I need to focus on again I have three goals here for work so whoops <laughs> Um, this was on my goals for last week and I didn't touch it. I may or may not just <laughs> cancel the meeting, but we'll see what happens. I would like to get them done, but I'm also not going to like force myself to do them necessarily. And then I have 
just a couple other work related tasks that I need to work on. I want to like, these are two items that I like kind of started on last week, but also it was a short week and I didn't do a great job of like really getting them done. So I wanna make sure that I finish those this week. All right, moving on to family. Um, my goal here really is just to um, go home once next week, which let's see next week, yeah. And then for like during Thanksgiving week, it'll be a little bit, a little bit different there, but I feel like this one is easiest like for me to just because I get bored of like being by myself in my house so or in my apartment so I'll just like go to my parents house because they live five minutes away and then I can like you know talk to my grandparents talk to my parents talk to my siblings if they're there if anyone's there <laughs> last week I had to go over there twice before I could actually find any people so no one was there so that's fun <laughs> all right this one we're sticking with water um, because I, the days that I don't drink the water, I can feel that I didn't drink the water and I just, yeah, want to pay more attention to that. Um, and then I have, I finally made an appointment for my shoulder for a PT. So I have that appointment and then I want to make a chiropractor appointment as well. And then I want to move during the work day. Like I just want to make sure that I'm like getting up and not like staying at my desk all day long because I will. And then, um, I don't get any steps. I feel really tired because I just sat on my butt all day and didn't, you know, move my body. And it really like, my body feels better when I move it a little bit, right? I feel like everybody can relate to that, so yeah. That's kind of how I'm feeling with movement. Also, I don't need to sit at my desk for an entire eight hours. Like, I can walk away and still get things done. So <laughs> I feel like that's definitely um, something, uh, that I need to work on. Also, I went to the doctor last week and, you know, they weigh you, right? And it made me want to cry. So definitely need to work on movement. I don't know how much of it's going to be outside because I despise the cold and it's going to be freezing this week. But I feel like I also need to get outside. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right. This one is just honestly going to be just my faith planner this week because the meditation thing hasn't happened. It's not happening. It's never like something that I really want to do. Like it's just something that I like feel like I should do. So yeah. I could put, I really want to do yoga. I just am doing a terrible job of managing my time, like I've said. So it hasn't been happening. Um, so I could put that there, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to like, put that down and then not do it again. You know, it's, I don't know. That's like a hard thing for me with goals is like when I don't do it, I like part of me wants to just like keep writing it over and over again. And then the other part of me is like, well, you're, you're not doing it. So obviously you're not going to do it, which is not necessarily the right mindset, but it's also like, it's how my brain works, I guess. So it's kind of a hard one for me. Um, 
yeah, I think for now I'm just gonna leave it at that and then we'll just go from there, so yeah. All right, this week I need to update my budget because I will get paid. So I need to do that. And then um, we're going to do sinking funds slash categories and $1,000 savings. Um, I know this is gonna sound like really vague, but I know what I mean with it. Um, I want to stay on budget. So like stay within my spending categories versus like just spending money because I feel like I have the money kind of thing, right? Like I really need to get out of that mindset so that I can save money and like pay off credit cards and like things like that. Like I just need to not be in that mindset. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so update budget and then I'm also gonna put, well, we'll put bank run as one of these because I do want to go to the bank so I can do my sinking funds slash like spending categories, all that good stuff and my $1,000 savings. And then um, I'm gonna put, I'm literally just going to put stay, I'm gonna put stay within budget because I feel like st saying stay on budget doesn't really help me. But like if I put stay within budget, like that to me is like stay within your spending categories. Like I know what that means. I know it might not be helpful language for everyone, but I know what it means. So I'm going to stick with that. And then no eating out because my goal was to eat out only once a week. This past week, I think I ate out like four times. Not good. So definitely need to not do that. All right, and then the last thing, physical environment, we're sticking with our same basics here. So vacuum, sweep and mop. This week I should dust, so we'll do that. Every time I spell the word vacuum, I'm like, am I sure that's how that's spelled? Are we sure? Never, I'm never sure. And then dust. I didn't do a very good job dusting last time I realized. Uh, <laughs> I looked at it when it was light outside and I was like, oh, I missed a lot of spots that I thought that I did not miss. So, you know, that's fun. Um, and then let's see, what else was I going to put? Oh, I want to try on clothes, like go through clothes this week. So we're gonna, maybe if I put it in caps, that'll help me. That is kind of how I live my life. I'm gonna be honest. Um, if I write things in caps, I know that, that I'm yelling at myself. So <laughs> I feel like that helps me. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else write it yourself? Write things to yourself in all caps to be like, do this. Cause that's definitely me. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know. Like if it's taken me like four days to fold the laundry, I will literally write fold laundry in all caps so that my brain is like, oh, you need to do that. All right. I think I'm done. Oh, and then my daily pickup, which I just want to, like I said last week, I think I said this last week, I've been doing pretty well about it, but I just want to like really focus on it like making sure that I'm actually doing it kind of things. So yeah. Um, I feel like I want to write up here like this week's focus, um, is really just consistency. I feel like, like that is really what I want to focus on for this week, honestly, for like 
the rest of the year. That is something that I need in my life is consistency because I will like do things and then just be like, okay, I did it. And then I won't ever do it again. Like, <laughs> you know, like all, or there will be like one day where I don't do it. And then it's just like, that's game over. So I really want to focus on being consistent in my life. Like just all of my life focus on consistency. So yeah. Okay. I think that's all that I have for this video. I still can't decide like if these videos would be helpful or not, but um, I'm going to keep doing them for my own sake. And hopefully I can be more consistent this week and actually get things done. Like I said last week, like I did pretty well with my water. Um, I missed a day here, which is really going to bother me because I've been printing them out and putting them into a monthly in my wellness planner. So it's really going to bother me that there's a blank that day, but I forgot about it. So that's annoying. Um, and then like I done, did decent there. Um, last week at work was kind of just like my focus was just not there. So that was kind of difficult. And then, um, it just like, like I said, it really wasn't like a consistent, I feel like I haven't been consistent. Like I haven't been doing the things. I've just been like thinking about doing the things. I realized that I did that there and there and there. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I need to get back on track with my life and make sure that I'm paying attention to things and not just being like, oh, you know, if I don't do it, then I don't do it. Like that is my toxic trait. Oh, I didn't do it, but that's okay. Like it happens like, like to an extent. Yes, that is okay. It happens. But when that's like how I think about literally everything, uh, that doesn't go well for you and you don't really accomplish things. So consistency, 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 as they say, consistency is key. And that is what I'm working towards this week. So that's going to be all for me today. Thank you for listening to me ramble about my goals. Um, <laughs> if you have any questions about the system that I'm using or about any of the random ramblings that I talked about during this video, please feel free to put those down below in the comments. I would love to um, interact with you down there. And um, as always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.